The documentary is called Wendy Williams, What a Mess. And it uh, it airs, I believe, right after Wendy Williams, the movie, uh, both of them on Saturday. And I you start this uh, you start and the, and the movie is, you know, a lifetime movie about your life. It, you're you know, it starts with you backstage on the show and then you go back to your childhood. And the documentary covers a lot of the same ground, but really concentrates on this difficult time. Uh, very recently, and you start out your interview in this documentary by saying, this has been a year from hell, and I mean that in a good way. But yeah. it really has been a year from hell. Yeah. The documentary was shot in the fall. So, you know, it was shot some months ago. And, and I still stand by that. This has been a year from hell in a good way. You know, I mean, my feet were on the fire for a large portion of it. And I knew that if I just stuck to what was true to me, and only I know what's true to me, then I could come out on the other side and those who stuck by me, believing in me, even when we weren't talking or I wasn't asking for their advice or wanting their advice, I was trying to figure things out. And I've always been that way. All right, I've got a problem. I don't wanna talk about it. Let me figure it out. And then I'll come back and I'll tell you, you guess what I've been through? Guess what has been going on? And then people I think we know. Me, why didn't you call me? Why didn't you let us know we could have helped you? And I said, no, you couldn't have. No. Nobody could help me through that part of my life except for me. No, I had nobody. And, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I mean, you know, I was deeply in love with Kevin. Quickly. Yeah, this is, let me orient anybody that doesn't know basically the story. The Year from Hell is, um, you know, came at the end of a 22-year marriage uh, to Kevin, as you say. It was an abusive relationship. Um, then he had a baby with another woman. And that was the end of the marriage. And we watched you struggle with this and, and come to terms with it really live on the air. Yeah, well, I mean, I had to. And I knew, I've known, all right, we were married for almost 22 years. We were together for 25 years. I don't regret the day of meeting him. I don't regret putting up with him for all 25 years. Um, and I cert and that has nothing to do with him having this baby or him having this uh, side girl for almost 15 years of our marriage. I've known about her almost since the beginning. I've known that Kevin is a serial cheat. I, the first time I found out was while I was pregnant with our son on bed rest. During that time, I gave birth to him. He was in the delivery room. You'll see that play out in the movie. Uh, he's passing out cigars. And, and you know, my wife and I, you know, little Kev, Kevin, who's not so little anymore. He's 20 years old. I plotted to divorce Kevin. And, and I sacrificed a lot of myself to come out successful on the other side. And it all worked. And when I say I sacrifice of myself, Kevin's an only child. You know, oftentimes when children have other children, siblings in the household, they can be their own clique while mom and dad are fighting. Or at least they have each other through a divorce process. Our son has nobody. To add to that, we were, you know, suburban people living in Livingston, New Jersey, and living a rock and roll lifestyle. And Livingston is a Tony, Tony community, but people made their money in other ways than being on TV and driving. I mean, we drove very, although the community was able to afford and still can very fancy cars, we're the only ones who had new Rolls Royces all the time. The ones that you build, not the ones you get from the showroom, new Ferraris, new Lamborghinis. I, every, every upscale, upscale car that you can name. My husband was in love with that stuff. And I like a nice car. I like a luxury car. I work very hard and I know how to drive very well and very fast. And I'm a, I have a very good driving record, but Kevin became an ass for lack of a better word. He, the more successful I got and he got, and we believed in each other, the more, of a jerk he became. You know, he used his good credit to purchase property that he chose to wine and dine 
his extramarital affairs. This girl wasn't the only one. She just happens to be the one who kept his baby. Yeah, I said kept his baby because uh, from what Mr. Hunter told me on the night that he, that she was, you know, with this new baby journey and her family and whatnot down South, he was with me begging for forgi forgiveness, telling me to take a moment and, and he would see it and we were meant to be together. Uh, we were meant to be together for 25 years. I was plotting. Uh, I was, somebody had to get Kevin to get his braces tightened and somebody had to go to parent teacher night and somebody had to arrange play dates. And then when they become young people, they're hanging out at the house and somebody had to sniff around the house to make sure nobody was smoking pot and breaking into your liquor cabinets and, you know, stealing. And that was me. I was house mom, truly. And I've never lied about that. It seems, um, you know, Jess and Julia, it seems like maybe I was not telling that truth when I'm doing Hot Topics dressed in Armani, you know, on my set in this fabulous lifestyle. But I truly was the host of the Wendy, the, the face of the show in the morning and the face of our family for the rest of the time. 